Hey, my name is Jeremiah, and right now I want to teach you a few fun facts about the celebration of an African-American holiday called Juneteenth. Starting off, when you look at the history of the United States of America, it wasn't always pretty. That's because people in the United States used to use slaves as labor to build things. But that is where the celebration of Juneteenth comes into play because it celebrates the end of slavery with the Emancipation Proclamation being signed by President Abraham Lincoln on January 1st in 1863. What this did was it required those states that seceded from the Union, meaning leaving the Union during the Civil War, who held slaves to no longer hold their slaves. Now, even though Abraham Lincoln had signed the Emancipation Proclamation, there weren't a lot of Union soldiers there to enforce the law, and it took a long time for the last of the slaves to hear the news. Eventually the news got there, and that is why back on June 19th in 1865, the Union soldiers, led by Major General Gordon Granger, landed at Galveston, Texas, where the news hit that they had been freed. After hearing the news, Juneteenth began to be celebrated in many different ways, from rodeos to fishing, barbecuing, baseball, dancing, music, and more. Another crazy thing about slavery back in the day was they didn't allow slaves to dress up and wear nice clothes. So, when the news of Juneteenth hit and they began to celebrate, it was always a big thing to go out and be your best dressed on Juneteenth holidays. Now, you heard me mention the word holiday, and actually in Texas, Juneteenth became an official state holiday through the efforts of a man named Al Edwards, an African-American state legislator. Another interesting fact about Juneteenth is it is said that in Texas, when General Granger arrived, Texas still had over 250,000 slaves who had not heard the news that they had been freed. So I guarantee when they heard, it was a big party that day. Well, that is all from me here on Welcome to Fresburg with this Juneteenth cartoon.